Bring me right now, baby, right now. Like a round, baby, right, 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 right. Hey everyone, how you guys doing tonight? Today we're from this beautiful world. Welcome to another All Spun Out edition. Uh, this is where we got some adjectives from the wheel at the end of the show. And we went and found us some beers so we can review them in the beginning. And we're going to do some ABV, uh, guess that ABV, and um, spin that wheel again. So we're all spun out. And I want to welcome um, to my panel, cheers, and some others will walk on in here shortly. But we got Alex, the beer master. Cheers to you. Thanks for showing up every week. What's up, my friend? Everybody, cheers, everybody. Good to have you. Um, and, of course, Beer Man. And uh, Tanner will be here soon. And I'm sure, hopefully, Bumpy will be here. So, um, and maybe even Sammy. That would be cool to see Sammy. Um, yeah. But uh, if, if he gets home, or I mean, because sometimes he don't get home until 12 o'clock at night. Oh, right. <laughs> 12 o'clock in the morning or whatever, yeah. Um, well, you cheers, cheers to a uh, few cell. Uh, school, school to you. Cheers, man. All right. And Angie created inspirations with Angie. Oh, where's Angie? There's a girl. Right, what's up, there, Mr. Angie? Cheers, my <laughs> friend. Appreciate you. Be home soon. Just kind of chit chatting a bit before we start because it's just me and Alex at the moment. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. What's up, my <laughs> friend? Appreciate you. All right. Well, we could go ahead and uh, hit it off. If you want to just review the beers, you and I, and then uh, when yeah, and if someone it, pops in, I'll just stop and I'll let them. I guess I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, just do your, do your full review and um, right. let me just get everyone up here. Cheers, Shark. Cheers, Kevin. All right, man. Cheers, Jason. Cheers, Jason, as well. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's bring up Alex. Let's see what he's got. Don't show your ABV and tell everyone what your words are. Here we go. Okay, I'll show the ABV. I got to show. I'm gonna. Um, we got uh, tiramisu, uh, mag, okay, mine over matter, double, double chocolate milk stout. Um, my words were, I know BJ beer man. I've seen BJ beer man has it, but I, I can easily get. It. We got chocolate, and we got new, and we got beastie. So unfortunately, um. I got the chocolate, but the other two, not so much. Beastie, I think it would be stronger. I'm not really sure, or or, or richer, but maybe if I get those words again, uh, we'll see if I can strike it up again. Let's see. Let's pour this up. Damn, it's so quiet when no one's around here. I know. Yeah. It's so weird. weird. Room is so quiet when, when it's my room is so quiet when nobody's on the panel. All right, let's pull right. this up. Wait a minute, let me see what, what, what BJ has showed me. Okay, all right, all right, there we go. There we go. We'll take your time reviewing it. Okay, yeah, BJ told me how to do this, but again, it's uh, I'm talking about showing the actual beer for once instead of having my hand all over it. Oh, so here's a saint on cool that there. Oh yeah, that's an Alex the Beer Master pour. Although that's what I do that with BJ too when I uh, pour his stuff. <laughs> I turn that into an Alex the Beer Master pour too. Um, but hey, that's just how I roll. Um, we got a free finger head. Looks, looks, looks delicious, man. I could smell that chocolate. Now I could slow it down because no one's here, but I could smell that chocolate even before I even get to the nosers, as Tanner always says. Losers. Um, yeah, looks jet black, but let's uh, you're not gonna, uh, you know what? Let's see here. Let me see here. Instead of blinding myself, but we're gonna see here. We're gonna see. Here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Here. Let's put the light up to the thing here. No, I do not see any any darkness or anything like that. Nope. Nope. No, there's no. Okay, we're good. Oh, wait a minute. The light's not even on. I thought it was on, but I guess not. There we go. No. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, there we go. Ooh, 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 there you ooh. go. Yeah, no jet black. It's just mm, no darkness there. So that's good. I don't want to blind myself, so let's not do that. Um, Yeah, that ni nice head keeps going. It keeps staying. I like that. I like that. Nice thick head. Looks delicious. Let's get into the smell. All right, nosers. Okay. It does smell like a milk chocolate sweetness, uh, stuff like that. Mm. Um, it, it's a um, it's a strong ABV, but not that strong. But I, you can drink a couple of these, maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the ABV, but you'll know in due time. Oh, hard mark. um. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, should smell like a tower of Mizzou. Um, honestly, my aunt uh, is supposed to be looking for it. Hoping one day she'll find that. My aunt Patty. Um, hoping we can we could uh, find that and stuff like that because that will be badass. Because I don't know, I might have had a tiramisu cake a long, long time ago, but I don't remember. I thought I did. But that might have been an ice cream, and I, I don't think that was tiramisu. It hey, might have Tanner. been ice cream. Hey, Mr. Tanner, welcome. Sure, my Sorry. That's okay. You got home safe. That's all that matters, my friend. I know you're stuck in traffic. So, yeah. yeah. So let's get into the taste, shall we? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Imperial Stout, right? Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. Kind of like no, nah. it says double. It says milk stout, but oh, imperial milk. Okay, yeah, it doesn't even say imperial. It just says double chocolate milk stout. Okay. Um. There's a slight. There's a chocolate, a little bit of milkiness, a little bit of creaminess, and as it. Drops, it gets a little, um, it gets a little bit watered down, but I still, I still like that though. In a way, I, I want it to be a little bit more thicker, but it doesn't have to be because it has a lot of flavor, and that's what you want. Mm. Mm. That is lovely, um, very hey, chocolatey. Well, up, Mr. Bumpy? Nice to see you, my brother. Who's happening? Who's the Who's the first one to go? Me. Alex. Uh, okay, uh, what's uh, what's your style? What did, what did you bring? What do you got, Mr. Bumpy here? What I got is, I'm not going to show the ABB, but I will show you the name. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got Tower Mizzou um, Mine Over Matter Double Chocolate Milk Stout. All right. Yep. The magnified, okay. Yep, magnified from New Jersey, which I cannot wait to go to their brewery when they open up. Oh, well, around here, maybe. We'll see. Um, yeah, it doesn't... When I first drank it a long time ago, it did taste like a tiramisu, and I think it still does taste like that a little bit. It goes down really nice on the throat, though. It's just so perfect for me. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of chocolate, a lot of milk, milk, um, softness, uh, kind of like a, um, what's it called? Um, soft milk stout, like it should be. So I'm going to continue on sipping on this, but it's a lot of chocolate, a lot of double chocolate, a lot of bit of a milk stout, uh, smoothiness on the palate. And then dropped off and then gets into the uh, water, you know, like light, light palette. But it doesn't matter. It's still good stuff. If you can get this, please do. Let me show, not show the ABV. If you can get this, please do. It's very dark. Hold on, hold on. Please try to get that. And that's it. We're going to let the legendary Tanner take over. And thank you. Get the beer. Cheers, my friend. Oh, we'll go from there. Give All you more right. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. All right, right. cheers. Tanner next. And welcome, panel. Welcome, uh, Tanner and Bumpy. Cheers. All right. All right. I don't know how cold my beer is because it's been in the fridge for about 10 minutes. 
Um, but my words were colorful and sweet. Well, it was colorful, acrid, and sweet, but hopefully this beer is not acrid. Uh, we got a beer by the Brewing Project, and it's actually in collaboration with Drecker called uh, Mark and Blark. Ooh. Fruited Sour. Pretty cool Ooh. looking label. That's that cool. is pretty cool. So you got the colorful um, logo there. Um, it is a sour ale brewed with pineapple, lime, watermelon, blackberry, blueberry, mango, and banana. And then they're using, uh, it says, and blue spirulina, which is that like food coloring stuff or whatever it is. Mm. Um, yeah. Turns the beer like bluish green. I've had a beer by them before that was, they use the same stuff in. And uh, yeah, we got an ABV here. Uh, no date on the bottom. It's actually a sticky mess on the bottom. This can was like eight bucks, but I thought it was cool because it was a Brewing Project Drecker collab. So let's uh, crack it up and pour it up. Please do. I I also, the can art was pretty badass, so. Let's make sure it doesn't I think it's gonna be a, I think it's going to be better, Tanner, since it's a clad, so we'll say way better. It's really cool. Well, that's a cool-ass label, dude. I wonder what the color is going to look like. I think it's going to be reading color, rainbow. What color do you think it is, Alex? Since it looks like a rain, it has a rainbow stuff on the can a little bit, I don't know. Uh, Guess the color. Man, I'm going to be wrong. Uh, blue! Blue! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, I'm a greenish blue, greenish blue. I got it. Yes, yes. Woo. Oh, that's a that's a thick one. <laughs> Yay! I'm Jeez. sorry, I'm an idiot. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. I need to take a picture of this for my Instagram. Yeah, it's yeah. like a greenish. It was like a. It's like a greenish blue kind yeah. of. Yeah, like yeah, it's kind of like dark green blue. Uh, and then you got this like uh, greenish head. This would have been good for like St. Patrick's Day. Oh yes, if you found the beer, then yes. Oh, that on it. There's so much in this. It's like I think the lime's very noticeable. <laughs> lime banana. Because there's there's so much in this. It's like how do you really pinpoint? I get more of the lime, banana, and then there's that like just kind of the berry, the blackberry and the blueberry kind of just blend together to be like this berry sweetness. Maybe some of the mangoes there. It smells very sweet on the nose, so it definitely fits the sweet aspect. Please be sweet and delicious and creamy, please. Oh, kind of looks very thick, like, like ice cream. cream. Magma. Brain guts. Lava. Yes. It smells very good, though. Um, I would say it's more sweet than sour on the nose, for sure. Just kind of a crazy blend of fruits. It's really kind of hard to pick out each one because there's just so much in there. But it smells sweet, and, uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. And there's pretty much no clarity through it at all. So let's uh, dive in and try it out. Cheers, guys. Please nice. be delicious and creamy. Cheers. Cheers. Power. <laughs> it needs to be colder. It might go back to the mini fridge for a couple minutes. Is it warm? The can, it, it could be colder. Okay. Um, on the palate, it's more berry forward. Nice. Berry lime. A little bit of like that creamy banana on the back end. There's uh, definitely more acidity on the palate. It's got a nice sour finish, um, but not overly sour. Pretty nice uh, thick mouthfeel. As you can see when I was pouring it and the clarity of it, it's definitely got like that smoothie mouthfeel. I can see more of the watermelon too. Not necessarily the pineapple, but more watermelon. I don't know. I'm not super crazy on the flavor, but 
nothing offensive. I think it's just like a giant mesh of like what are they using? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different fruits. It's like a just big Jeez. smoothie blend. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely on the sweeter side. Should be colder. But uh, I'll let you know what I think about it next time around. So cheers, guys. All right, cheers, cheers. Go God, bumpy now. Yes, Mister Bumpy himself. A little righteousness. <laughs> kind of wash down dinner with a little sparkling water. Hanging out with the cool. hanging out with the uh, the grandson. Yeah, that's why I was late. I had to uh, made omelets tonight, so I was on the Blackstone. So took a took a little bit longer than I was hoping. Um, my words were American coffee and odd. Oh yeah. Please so have this was a beer. That was left by Turtle Man, <laughs> my house. Uh, it comes from Corner Point Brewing Company. They're out of Berwick, Maine. And this one is Aroma Joe's Coffee Porter. Uh, Aroma Joe's is a local coffee chain around here. And it started in Maine. And uh, we also have them here in New Hampshire. So uh, it says Porter with coffee flavor and caramel color. Ooh. So they definitely did some odd things to it to, to enhance it. It's uh, an American porter, and uh, it's coffee. So nailed it, I would say. Um, on the side here, it says Aroma Joe's was founded by cousins from Maine, inspired by passionate people, amazing customer service, and a wicked good cup of coffee. At Corner Point, we share that passion. So creating an amazing flavored porter with a natural fit. We use Vienna malt as a foundation with a blend of Aroma Joe's coffee extract and a touch of lactose. And this is a collaboration made in coffee heaven. Cheers. Let's go ahead and crack it open and give it a pour. Oh, yeah. That looks delicious and thick. <clears throat> All right, cool, eh, man. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's got a uh, kind of khaki, slight caramel color head, uh, pretty tight knit bubbles. Um, so kind of frothy esque, uh, kind of like you whipped up the uh, cream on the top of the coffee, maybe. Uh, the beer color itself, it's pretty dark, but it's definitely got some caramel um, hues down here. I mean, they used caramel coloring. So I guess that's uh, what you're going to be getting. I don't know why you'd have to color. Uh, a porter, unless they didn't use any dark malts at all. It was just Vienna uh, malts, and it was going to come out looking like a Vienna lager. Um, but let's see. There are aromas on this. Yeah, so you're definitely getting there's a there's a kind of a biscuity bready note, but there is uh, some nice kind of coffee. Uh, it's like a it's like coffee that has cream and sugar in it. Uh, so it's kind of sweet smelling. I mean, a lot of it. <laughs> it's it's like a nice sweet iced coffee. Uh, definitely more along the lines of the way that I would make myself a coffee. So, because uh, you know, I don't like that black grain. Well, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a, a per, uh, someone over there, Mister Bumpy? Looks like your dog. Someone's. Uh... <laughs> Well, cheers. Uh, cheers. All right. Grandpa Bumpy. Cheers. And please be delicious. Yeah, it's a thinner body. Um, moderate carbonation. Drying on the back, on the palate. Um, starts off a little bit of sweetness. A little bit of fruit, like dark fruit, and uh, the breadiness, and then uh, kind of a there's a coffee flavor, a little bit of maybe like a touch of touch of chocolate, more caramel though than than chocolate. Back end uh, leaves you with a little bit of bitterness, <sighs> kind of like uh, if you drank coffee, it's kind of like a coffee. Uh, bitterness, um, 
so may, maybe a little astringent uh, type thing going on. Uh, it drinks a lot like, I mean, most of the flavors are coffee. But like I said, it's more like kind of drinks a little bit like coffee, like a coffee milk. Uh, if you've ever had coffee milk. Or like one of those, like if you got like one of those Starbucks coffee cans, those like energy drinks or something, it kind of has that type of a of a coffee flavor to it. Um, yeah, there's absolutely no ABV flavor or feeling to this. And that's All a right. good coffee stout, right? Yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, not not too shabby. Cool. Cheers. Awesome. Thanks, Bumpy. Cheers, man. Looks Cheers great. Yeah. Sounds, sounds good. All right. Cheers, Bumpy. Cool, man. Um, yeah, that anchovy hot. Fuck, that sounds good, dude. I heard about that from Josh. Make sure I think Josh went to that. All right. So... Uh, my words were, uh, we had some interesting beers tonight, guys, so far. Damn. Uh, so yeah. Citrusy, decadent, and vintage. I couldn't find anything on decadent and vintage. I'm sorry. I I, I, I tried, but I did find a new one from Fort George, uh, our local one here. And it's their Vortex, but it's a, it's a single. It's a single. That's what I'll say. I'm, I'm not going to say the ABV, but... Um, but the other one's not double, double dry hop. This one, it's not, I don't think it's dry hop. Well, it might just be like regular single dry hop. Um, but this one's double dry hop, a uh, double dry hop version of the Vortex. And it was can 328.24. Let me, hopefully, oh man, it's hard. Oh shit. It's like right there. But it's just a, it's a cool like hop cone. It's really hard to like hide the ABV. Here, there we go. And then that hop. So they have like a, a sign that's lit up that has the same hop for Vortex. It's a really cool like lit up sign. I want to get it and put it in here somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how much it costs, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and open this. It was a really fresh one. So I said, hey, let's do it. I don't know if it's gonna have citrus, but usually a lot of the a lot of IPAs have citrus, so I figured it would be okay. I think the sign would look good right behind you there, Mr. B, Mr. Beer Man. Right, right there. Yeah, yes, exactly. A big spot. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, so we have a uh, golden, a golden kind of a, a dirty gold sort of look to it. I guess it's golden. Um, pretty good effervescence in there. I didn't pour it super aggressive, but it is leaving a nice little um, – it's keeping up with a nice little uh, half a finger there. It's not going down anytime soon. That effervescence is keeping that afloat. Um, looks really good. Nice and clear beer. I wouldn't say brilliant, but definitely has a slight chill haze on the nosers. Oh, definitely a citrus, so that's good. That is a good thing. Citrus, I'm getting kind of a lemon, slight orange lemon kind of blend. There's definitely a hoppy, hoppy, uh, uh, resinous kind of bite to it. Fresh hops, like kind of just really nice. I need, I get pineapple. Yeah, in the can, boy, that's really thrusting out, thr uh, pushing out that uh, uh, lupulin. Really hoppy, super, super dank earthy not one of those onion balmy ones though but more uh just real earthy and like citrusy like i was saying pineapple yeah i think that's about it really maybe some like uh tangerine orange but yeah that's what i'm getting there is a slight like breadiness a little bit of malt going on nice balance right, let's drink this cheers Cheers, please. Cheers. Please be delicious. Cheers. Mm, damn, that's fresh. That's nice, good. 
Now that that has kind of um um wow almost like a carbonic bite in the fin like a like a crazy like uh like a dry kind of astringency in the finish really bitter in the finish so it's in that with a slight pine coming through as well the regular vortex doesn't have this is totally different than the regular vortex um you're getting more of a hop boot like boost from the dry the extra dry hopping and flavors it's really really resinous and dank almost cannabisy um lemon lemon and orange tangerine and orange um definitely more on the citrus side than like say your stone fruity or your uh your tropical um thing but the body is uh medium it's um it's got kind of a a sizzly mouthfeel it's got a real carbonated kind of mouthfeel uh, it's real jumpy in the mouth no alcohol on the finish or anything like that nothing going down alcohol wise don't get any um any of that very dry though dry mm -hmm. and um, almost sticky like you're getting that resin stick it's just real like ah like your tongue i have to like pop it off like it's got a little suction cup <laughs> Man. it's super if you were to burn this down it would probably cut you would probably get resin in the end oh you know get in a boiler and uh yeah hmm. that's good man Fuck yeah good job poor george that's what i got there though so let's go ahead and uh start our game cheers cheryl um mbc cheers Start our game here, our guest at ABV game. Let's do a, a little switch here. Okay, we bring we everyone in the right position. Okay. Let me see who else uh, might have popped in. Yeah, BC, Cheryl. Um, cheers. Cheers, guys. All right. So uh, first, we're going to – boy, that's got a real piney – ah, whoa, bitter. Piney, ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So – the first one we have for today, guys, is Alex's Imperial Milk Stout. And Tanner yes. is first. Imperial Milk Stout. All right, I'm going to go 10%. 10, okay. I think he said double milk stout. Double chocolate. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh. Do you oh, know, hey, uh, Alex, what did uh, what did you say? What does it say on the can? Uh, uh, as far as um, without saying the ABV, is it a double chocolate or a double? It says like uh, double. It says double chocolate milk stout. Oh, okay, that changes everything. Okay, yes, there you go. And, yeah, and it's uh, you want to read uh, that, Tanner? Uh, not nah, screw it. We'll go with ten still. Okay. <laughs> Wow, God. <laughs> well, you know, ten, you know, you know, Alex and his ten percenters. So yeah, yeah. That's um, okay. there, there, there's occasional ten percent on these channels. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is occasionally. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say seven point eight. Seven point eight. All right. Um, I'll say seven point six. Hmm. So what's the ABV, Alex? Well, it is eight. Wow, cool, bumpy, got bumpy, that. Mr. bumpy, and, and dark, <laughs> magnifying, nice. And Tanner, all that. Can all that, that, Alex? Can I see the label? Sure, Mr. Uh, Tanner. Magnify, uh, tiramisu. Okay, cool. We'll be hanging out in a couple weeks, Tanner. Uh -huh. We'll be hanging out for several cool. days. So, in those several days, we'll uh, do that. I got some beers from. I'm hoping we'll go to Magnify, but I don't know how. Yeah, I just got more beers today. That's where I. That's where I was at. I went to a couple different spots. Okay. All right. Sorry, just going through it. Oh my gosh! Um, I'm just so good. All right. So Tanner, Tanner has the fruited sour, and Bumpy is the first to guess on this one. I'm gonna say, um, hey, Mark from Canada. Um, hey, Mark. Five point six. 
5.6. All right. Um, I'll say, man, that, that's a good number right there. I'll just say 6%. Alex, what do you think? Tenders well, I'm going to say it is. Oh, that was the other one. Sorry. 7%. I'm not going to say 10% because I don't think that would be. 7% or, yeah, 7%. All right. It's uh, 6.3. Damn it. I failed. 6.3. So I can't win. Seven. Yes, you can. You could just send something to yourself. Oh, who, who, who's the closest? Is that Bumpy? 5, 6? Bumpy, I mean, man. I said I was, seven. I was seven off, and Alex was seven off, right? Oh, yeah, this was crazy. Okay. Uh, Tiebreaker. 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 Hold on. I got tiebreaker. Me and Bumpy won. I got a tiebreaker. I bought a tiebreaker beer. We're good. Me, me and Bumpy won. Well, we don't nope. need to do a tiebreaker yet because oh. the show's not over. Yeah, Mr. Beer Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit. I wasn't thinking about that. All right. So, my bad. <laughs> Calm my down, man. Mr. Beerman. I know you're excited, oh, my brother. I love you. <laughs> get my fucking thinker on. Okay. It's okay, oh, man. I get those days, too, Mr. <laughs> Beer man. All right. All right. So, Bumpy and Alex, the winner. Um, thank you for straightening my brain out. Um, Bumpy has a coffee stout. And that's not a – that's just a regular single coffee stout, like not a double uh, one. Yeah, a coffee porter. A coffee porter, excuse me. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. All right, coffee porter. Um, uh, I'm gonna say uh, 5.4 percent. Alex, what do you think that coffee porter is? All right. Uh, well, he, Mr. Bumpy, does the same thing. Kind of goes back and forth, 10, 11 percent, or 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 lower. Ah. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah. It's a hard, hard thinking. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to be an hour thinking for an hour. An 8%. Can, can I help Alex out a little bit? Yes, Mr. Bobby. It's not an Imperial Alex. It's just a coffee porter. Not okay. Imperial. Okay. Because that would be Imperial. You're right. Uh, there you go. Helping all of us out tonight, huh? <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. You're here. You're here. I'm gonna say five percent. Hey, that's better. Okay. Six point five. Six point five. Yes. Six point five. Yeah. And the answer is five point six. Oh my God! <laughs> I said, God damn it. I so okay. Alex won that one. Alex won, I won. Yes. Yeah. They're yeah, in Alex. this together. They both got points last time, and now he's helping them. Fuck. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I got to stop. Uh, yeah, 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 that was a lot of help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, hey, Beerman, that's funny, right? When I say hell yeah, but I'm saying, Beerman. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I have a double dry hopped, not a double single oh, idea. Alex. Not a double. Not a double. Not, a, not an imperial. Mm -hmm. I'd be failing that. I'm um, a seer. Um, hmm. It's not a double, and that would be an 8%. So that's no. Uh, I'm gonna say six per no, that's still no. I'm gonna say five percent. Five percent. Whoa, okay. Um unless you want me to say six percent, but that's still that, <laughs> that would be better. Six <laughs> what do you want me to say? Six percent. This is unreal. It is uh, unreal, isn't it, Tanner? Six. All right, we're gonna go with six. Let's do six. All right, that works. All right. Seven. So, what is seven, it? Seven percent. Seven. All right. Bumpy. And I'm splitting them right in half at six point five. 
6.5. And you know who the winner is of this one is Tanner at 7.2%. And sure. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it is. Yeah, 7.2. So, yeah. Um, and so now. Now we need a tie break. Now we have a tie Tanner break. Tanner will be the winners. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 let's see. Uh, so Tanner won. Uh, I won Bumpy, one. Bumpy. Alex. Alex. Do they helped each other. So no. Okay, so the tiebreaker. Yeah, tiebreaker. Tie tie in a couple weeks, <laughs> several days, you're getting noogies. Uh, Bob. So we have a tiebreaker beer here, and this is from a local company of ours called Obelisk, out of Astoria, Oregon. And it's a Kolsch style ale uh, called the Sun Shrine. Sun Shrine. What do you think? I, I, I didn't catch what what style it was. It's yeah, a Kolsch. It's a Kolsch. A Kolsch. Okay. Who's going first? <laughs> and what is this beer? It, this beer is a tiebreaker beer? I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. That I'm very confused, Mr. Beerman. This is new to me. I don't think you've done this before. Yeah, it's so you got to guess the ABV of, of that Kolsch. And I have okay. to guess the ABV. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, yeah you can, uh, Bobby will guess, and then it'll help you guess your answer, too. Keep it up, Mr. Tanner. <laughs> Who's going first? Unreal. Alex, you want me to go first? Or you want to go yeah, first? Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. It's, All right, it's, I'm going to say 5.4. 5.4. 5. 4. All right. Uh, the blue spirit. You, you can't guess the same exact number as me. because then Obviously. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Six percent. Wow. Okay. It's not a strong beer. I don't well, play. the tiebreaker is the breaker is bumpy because this ah. is a four point two percent Kolsch. Wow. A very low one. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Bumpy is the winner of this show. All right. Congratulations, Bumpy. So, beer man, are we going to do tiebreakers every? Not punk. I said beer man. Only when they're well, tie. So that it's so that it stays <laughs> say affair. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is, beer man, are we going to do tiebreaker beers every time? That'd be cool if we do. If if you have a situation like we had today, yes. Okay, okay. I give you a spray. All right. Yes. So there you go. Let me put this away real quick. So it stays yes, cold. please keep that cold, Mister Beer Man. Next on the next show. All right, so okay, let's go ahead and um, give our last thoughts. How about well, it? Yeah, I get what you're oh. doing. You're you're doing a tiebreaker beer, but it's a beer that you're going to be putting on the next show. Meaning Tanner and uh, Eric. Well, it worked. It worked. So that, Hell that's yeah. Cool. And <laughs> now everyone knows what I'm drinking on the next yeah, show. Because no, you're a trip. Keep it up. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to bring you up, Alex, for your last thoughts on the beer that you had. Cheers. Unfortunately, this is done, but um, I'm going to still fresh in my book, so I'm going to give this a 90. I know, BJ, everybody, don't get 100. But one day you will again. I haven't done that in quite some time, but we will get some hundreds. But it's a 90 this time around, and uh, it is what it is. Almost world world class. So, yeah, appreciate you. Maybe one day we'll get the Benjamins. Hell yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Oh, so yeah, we will. All right, Alex. Cheers. Let's cheers. get Tanner up here. Ah, this spirits. A whole lot of fruit concocted into one flavor, and it's kind of odd. Mm -hmm. It's not bad though. The spirulina, blue spirulina, is like a. Let's say natural extract from like green algae or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what online said. And I've had a couple beers with the blue spirulina. I think it's more for just uh, the color, the appearance of the beer. You know, overall, it's pretty good. It's got a good balance of uh, sweet, sour. Definitely a lot more sour than you would expect after smelling the nose. It smells really sweet. Um, I think a little bit more berry forward than the other flavors the berry starts to become a little bit more prominent 
the uh the banana was in there and the um watermelon lime just kind of created more of that like citrusy acidity but uh the mango and the pineapple were kind of hard to pick out but overall i think it was pretty good um honestly i kind of just some of these fruited sours where they add too much it's just kind of all over the place i like when they do like two or three different fruits um or if they're trying to go for some style of flavor but this is like they just kind of took as much fruit as possible and just jammed it into one beer and then put some freaking blue color and stuff in it but <laughs> eight bucks for a can too uh oh. cool can art just wish the beer itself was a little bit better i'd still give it maybe like an 86 definitely in the b b plus range so not bad but uh definitely had better from drecker and the Bruin project but it is what it is so cheers guys nice cheers dude cheers all right all right let's bring it bumpy cheers bumpy not okay bumpy not not me <laughs> <laughs> so this beer um eh, it does have artificial stuff in it um you kind of pick that out so it kind of reminds me more of like a like a coffee a coffee milk or whatever um i'm kind of i i just feel like it's it's good it's it's nothing that i would like go out and purchase myself uh or really recommend yes but yeah it's good definitely drink it if somebody gives you one like turtle man gave to me hmm. <laughs> nice. that's all i have to say about it all right it's good at least it's, it's good. good okay okay it tastes, it tastes like something sam adams might make <laughs> yeah <laughs> average yeah average beer. yeah cool all right thanks bumpy all right, let's go ahead and uh, see what the fuck I got to say about my beer. Um, yeah, really good. I mean, I'm not going to go over all the notes again, but a very uh, pleasurable uh, drinker. It was very um, – the finish was a little bitter, a little astringent. Like for for my taste, though, it, it, it just went down. It was really dry and, like, puckering, just like – um so but other than that very nice and dank and good and hoppy and citrusy and very awesome so um i would totally probably give this like a i would say it's a very good beer um i would probably stick it at around on a score scale out of 100 or let's just do my 10 like I normally do. I would say probably like a nine. Nine two. Nine two. Excuse me. Yeah, probably about a nine two. Just over A minus, like right pushing the A middle range. Uh that that dry bite was really yeah. But other than that, the flavors, like I said, were great. So and uh it's pleasurable to drink. So I'm I'm enjoying it. Anyway, that's that. Um let's go ahead and do the wheel. How about it? Sound good? Hell Let's yeah. Going in order again. Yeah. Wheel of nuts. The wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And here we go. So the first one is Alex, and I will get these to you, buddy. Thank you. Again, thanks for your support, Mr. Beerman. Again, thank you, Miss. Let's Hopefully say thank you. you. Buddy thing. Let's uh let's hope. What if I hope I don't get the same thing? That would be crazy. I know. Or the crazy the words you don't want, let's say. I, I hope Alex gets shitty ones. Keep it up. Well, you did get BC again. <laughs> no. BC? BC, that's fine. Beastie, Beastie as in huge. Beastie, Beastie Bear. I get Beastie 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 robust and huge. All right. Beastie so Beastie Beastie the Beastie Boys. The Beastie Bar. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. The BJ Boys. Yeah. The BJ boys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Multi. No, hey, I got so that. So Multi. So the beastie and multi. Okay. Well, let's look for the color. Please do. 
Sorry, guys. I'm just having fun. I, I, I love my friends. I'm sorry. I'm just having fun. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> peanut butter. Please be, Miss. Please be peanut butter. Yeah, you're looking at a Belgian beer. <laughs> so yeasty, yeasty, you yeasty, yourself. beasty, and malty. Yeasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's really? fucking hilarious. I'll look for a ten percent. Oh, I'll look for a ten percent Belgian beer. And there we'll you go. Through. A dark. Well, not a dark. Oh, not, okay, you're gonna look for a ten percent. Well, I guess I know Alex's ABV next time. Oh <laughs> shit. Well, Bobby, you don't know if I'm gonna get a ten percent. I'm just saying that for the fun of it. Can you don't know that? Go. My brain's go. weird. Maybe I'll get a bumpy road stronger beer. Aged. Hey. Right. Right. That works. Age. So far. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, peanut butter is right next to Rich. Age and Rich. That sounds kind of good. Pretty good, right. yeah. Age and um, Barrel aged out. Yeah. In fact, so big it. Oh my goodness! There you go. All right. There we cool. Go. Now we got Bumpy, right. Mr. Bumpy, isms. Cheers. So Tanner's got to get an old, fat, rich person. <laughs> yep. <laughs> fat again. Oh no, historical. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's shuffle this good. I wonder what no shuffling does. I dotted my eyes. <laughs> Imperial. Oh. Oh, uh, let's do a no shuffle and see what happens. All right. Let's see what we got. Is it going to be just a week of Imperial oh, beers? Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you want me to shuffle, I can shuffle. Are you good with Thank that you, word? Mr. Beer Man? Thank you. Let me check my fridge uh, real quick. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Are you joking? Oh, okay. No, I'm not joking at all. <laughs> I have a vintage beer in my fridge. Okay. Um. Yep, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Got it already. <laughs> cool, dude. All right. What the fuck is PPO? Oh, odd. I was reading it backwards. Goddamn. All right. So uh let's go mine. Oh, give me something good, please. Give me something good to eat. I'm sorry. <laughs> something I can actually find. <laughs> Barrel age. Barrel condition. Okay. Barrel age. Don't just say that. No, we'll say barrel condition because that's what's on the fucking board. All right. Uh, uh, oh, All right. Me. All right so uh, there's that. I'm trying to mute myself. Mute boss. Right. Let it out, man. Let it out. I'm liking that multi, okay. We're looking like we're all gonna have some uh, strong ones next week. <laughs> we're all gonna be drunk oh. next next one. Jesus Christ! All right. Alex's ABV guesses will be correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that, peeps. Imported too, Jesus. Okay. Wow. Well, I'll find something. That's cool. Awesome. There's that. Got our words. And uh, now go find some beer. Well, cool. Bumpy, so now we all have to buy Imperial Stouts, right? I, I already have three of uh, three of those right in my fridge. Like, well, <laughs> the one beer hits all three of those words I got tonight. So. Cheers, Sammy. And Lip. Uh, yeah, guys. 
Mr. B, cheers to you. All right. And last beer, Josh. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, yeah, you're on set, bro. <laughs> Bumpy one today, yep. Um, cool. So that's done. I got the words to Alex. We're good to go. Now it's time to turn off this ticker and do some shout outs. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you up uh and starting with Alex. Shout some stuff out. Go for it. Well, obviously, I don't know what's going on with the taste of Tuesdays, but uh as of right now, uh, yeah, that's that's around uh, unless something changes. Tasty Tuesdays with with Alex and BJ around seven o'clock. Don't know what beer we're doing because of my stupidity, but we'll I can get into that. But uh, that's around seven o'clock, and then if that happens, and then and then Mondays it's Alex and friends around eight o'clock, and then Thursday is. Alex and friends around 10 o'clock, 10 30. And then Friday, we're going to be having come have a beer with Alex around 8 o'clock. So that's the shows. And then occasionally, if I'm not doing, if I am doing Tasty Tuesdays or whatever, occasionally I will do a beer review. Hoping I'll get back to doing beer reviews too, solo beer reviews as well. I'm doing Tasty Tuesdays and stuff. So I'm hoping eventually, or food reviews, hoping. I, I've been saying that, but. I just been so busy with this channel and been so crazy uh, with all the shows and I'm loving it. I've been loving it. So as we all say at McDonald's, I've been loving it. <laughs> so oh yeah. So, so check out all so check all the <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's true. It's I'm, lo true. I'm loving it, but yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm saying it wrong, but I'm trying to think of it about it and I'm saying it wrong. Um but no, check out all of our peeps. Uh, check out Leger Rick Joplis. Check out all the people that have a YouTube channel or upcoming YouTube channel. And uh, check out BJ uh, Drinks Beer. I think it's uh, one word. BJ Drinks Beer. One word. And so, yeah. So check that channel out. You obviously see videos of me. You'll see videos of him. And a whole bunch of other people that he did beer reviews with. Well, a couple people with a while ago. So, yeah. Check that all out. And that's all I got to say. Just check out our peeps. Cheers. <coughs> Nice. Cheers. Normally, I don't not speak this stuff, but I need to start doing that. But I'm an asshole, so. <laughs> sure yeah, you're, you're an asshole, Alex. Hey, you you go, man. I'm not I'm having fun, but seriously, though. Cheers, everybody. All right, we all have assholes. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Unless you're Cheers. an alien. Cheers. Okay. Now we got Tanner. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. A lot of fun. We got fun with it. Cheers, Ken. All right. So, for my channel, um, I didn't review anything today, but I did get some beers for the uh, meetup with Eric, Alex, and BJ. So, look out for some reviews on uh, Ragged Island and some Taproot beers. And I, I actually have a bunch of different stuff from Rhode Island and over here that I'm bringing over there. So, look out for those reviews. I can't wait. May. It should be fun. Um, but yeah, uh, will it mix? It will be 8.30 p.m. Eastern time or eight, between 8 and 8.30. We'll see what happens. Um, might go 8 o'clock just to start it sooner. But uh, Monday, yeah, we'll be doing will it mix instead of the whiskey examination. And the week after that, of course, we'll go back to the whiskey examination. Um, my lighting is messed up. You think so? I don't have the soft box directly pointed at my face. Well, I can see you just um, oh, but no, on, yeah, actually, you. I'm, I'm going to be brewing another beer tomorrow. <laughs> Put your face right in that soft box. Keep it up. Keep oh, it up. Are you brewing? Cool. Thing, Bobby. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm going to brew um, the caribou slobber. So. Awesome. So that Brown. should be fun. Um, and yeah, and then of course I got the Dead Ringer IPA. It's going to be Racking that over to uh, another fermenter or secondary fermentation um, next week, next Thursday. And, uh, yeah, so just look out for more beer reviews, liquor reviews, and uh, I'm going to be doing some brewing stuff live. I've been having fun doing it. And, um, cool. yeah, should be should be cool. And Tanner, I will tell uh, you. Shout out to Eric for Wild Card Wednesday coming up shortly. So. 
I will tell Dude. you this, Tanner. I cannot wait to hang out with you, BJ, and, and myself. Definitely, and, bro. And Aaron. All right, Tanner. Tanner. Hey, yeah. Tanner. Chandler. All right. Thank you. Let's bring up Bumpy now. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Uh, yeah, who to, who to shout out? Um, I mean, you guys should all uh, check out Nerd Sense. Uh, there's oh, some uh, good good job. peeps out there. You got uh, you got uh... <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, it's been a day. You got Mike and Sean. There we go. Jesus, I was drawing a blank there for a second. Mike <laughs> and Sean have written Nerd Sense. Um, they're good. Uh, they, they put out good content. A uh, couple nerds drinking beers, talking about other things. Nerdy. Uh, yep. On my channel, I got uh, my beer reviews coming out. I'm trying to put out a few a week. Got my frozen pizza reviews I do. Try to put one of those out a week if I can. Um, I do have some back stock, so it's not like I'm going to stuff myself to eat some pizza right now to, to get video <laughs> going. Um, so I do have, uh, I do have a frozen pizza review coming out this Friday. Look for it. I put it out right before lunchtime. Well, on the East coast anyways, at 11 AM. So that way, you know, you can get some ideas for lunch maybe, or at least get yourself hungry. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'll put out some cooking stuff as well. So hence the name bumpy isms. It's a bunch of different shit. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, dude. All right. And you know what, Bumpy? You've been saying Bumpyisms for years, even before the Bumpyism yeah, channel. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, okay. okay. Beer man. So uh one person I want to shout out today is uh is uh the, the hopping the backpacking beer adventure. This guy um he if you haven't watched him already he hitchhiked to different breweries and he does it he pulls it off and he's really cool he's got a funny laugh too is he um, called the hitchhiker brewery there's a link right there um oh the link oh yeah that's the link uh so he goes and he hitchhikes and he goes to different places and uh weirdly enough makes it there and um and just does brewery uh, reviews and goes over their beers takes their samplers and talks to the brewers and the owners and all that stuff um so it's really cool his last thing was uh five months ago he's got 794 subscribers 92 videos so he's really putting out a lot of uh interesting stuff it's just one of those uh shows you like to watch when you're like eating your food you know you're like oh this is cool i kind of like because i watch a lot of the i like a lot of the brewery kind of um like the like squatchy brewery you know I, I like it when they visit breweries and stuff i wish i wish i could do that but fuck that's expensive well we'll um, do it we'll do it we'll, we'll do it when we'll do it when we're right. hanging out maybe beer man i said maybe beer man yeah <laughs> um anyway uh so well that's my vision anyway who the hell knows what's gonna happen beer and cheese tuesday no you have or, vision keep it up it's your vision um please be delicious hell yeah so <laughs> beer cheese tuesday eight o'clock eastern five o'clock uh, pacific every tuesday next week is a regular beer and cheese so um we'd love to have more people on the panel uh it would be really great it's always nice to have bumpy and sparkle up there too so if you do have beer and cheese you can bring whatever you want seriously um just bring what you want it could be sliced cheese velveeta whatever the fuck you want to bring and any fucking beer. I don't care. Um, and then I'll spin out, of course, next week. Anyone's invited to that as well. 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific. And it is like today's show. Every week. So, every Wednesday. And I am actually... Well, I'm, I'm lagering the Schwartz beer. It's about 10 days in. So, um, I hope in about another uh, month, I can maybe look at it and go, okay. God, I hope you win. I really um, hope you win, Beer Man. I really hope I, you win. 
at least I get to like a degree of like maybe third place. That would be kind of cool. Or like, That's good too, but I'm just hoping for the best for you, no matter where you slice it. That would be cool. That's um, all. If you don't win, I still want the best for you. It is national though. They put it into certain states and then bring it all together. So who knows who's brewing a sports beer? I don't know. Is it, is it, are you selling, is it a beer? Not selling. Let me rephrase that. Are you bringing the beers to other stores so I could buy them? Uh, what's the deal here once this is all said and done, beer man? Can we buy these beers from? No, 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 no. Okay. You can't. No, this is just a competition. It's just, uh, so I got to put in like three beers to Portland, uh, which is an hour from me, but uh, okay. they get it, they, they judge it, and then it goes to a second round. Nice. And if it makes it, and then they give you the final after that, and you find out if you win. They, I don't know if they bring, they ha, give you the ability to come down there or wherever and go to the actual uh, ceremony if there is one or if it's online. Shark can help with that because I haven't done a whole lot of reading on it. I should, mm -hmm. so I apologize. But uh, it's um, it's gonna be fun at least. It'll be my second competition now. Um, oh. Shark got me into these, and now I'm like, ah, let's do it. I love this shit. So, uh, yeah, I want to compete a lot more in the future. When was but, your uh, first competition? I didn't know that oh, until now. There you go. There you go. Thank Why you, did Shark. you do your first competition? I didn't know that until now. I did a Kolsch Cup, but it, it was the wrong – it was the wrong um, – it was more of a, um, a customized one. And so it was more Americanized, and it just didn't go. So they wanted BJCP, period. You know, it had to be Germanic style altogether, mm -hmm. and it was not. So um, it was hazier than normal, and that is just the way it goes. So no, at least um, you tried. Now you'll do it. Now you'll do a better chance on this. They time. did like the beer. They just didn't. It wasn't up to standards as to winning. Oh, so they, so they, so they, it was up to standards of what they liked, but it wasn't up to standards. Okay, okay, okay. right. Awesome. Um. So. That, but I've got a, I've got a couple of beers. I'm gonna be re rebrewing the Kolsch to standard now, just to see that I want to see the difference. I want to see if I can actually do a Kolsch the way it's supposed to be. Uh, hopefully, we can get a brilliance and clarity. Um, and then I'll, I'm doing a Nipa as well, a 7.2 Nipa, uh, 5.2 Kolsch, and then a 7.2 Nipa um, called. Uh, uh, so the Kolsch is called I Like Gold, and then Brain Police Nipa. So after Zappa, because it's using Zappa hops. I'm going to have to use that anchovy hop, though. That sounds fucking good, dude. That sounded really good. Anyway, um, that's that. I might have some beer reviews coming up in the future, too. I need to get more out. And I am also going to be going to um, Boston in the uh, September time. So um, September 4th to the 11th, I hope. So I'm getting that plane ticket. Now we'll figure this out, beer man. I'm going to try to make it up there with you. If not, we'll see what happens. We'll say, quote, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So that's unless, that. Here's, unless you surprise me for some crazy reason, but who knows what you? Appreciate you. <laughs> I don't right. expect that though, but who knows what you? You're unique. Well, <laughs> love you, Alex. Um, love you so too. I want to say thank you to the to the community for sure, uh, for sure, for sure. First, uh, before I say thank you to my panel, my awesome panel. Thank you to the community yeah. though for showing up mm -hmm. and supporting us. We really appreciate you. And if uh, I'm sure y'all have subscribed to us, unless you unsubscribe to the data. But um, anyway, I want to say cheers and thank you to the panel. We have Bumpy Isms, Bumpy, Mr. Bumpy, and Alex, the beer master. And <laughs> cheers, guys. Alex has something to say. Hell yeah. So unfortunately, I drink all my beer and warm a little bit, but I didn't. It's the Alex, the beer master. We will see you all on the next live stream. In the next video, this is Alex Beermeister signing out. But cheers, everybody, but not after one more sip. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. See you in the next show tonight. Round some I love beer. I love it. It's love good. beer, everybody. Cheers.